in those areas. And right now there is a bit of confusion among Metro Atlanta parents as they send their high schoolers back to class. State officials pulled an AP African American Studies course from the approved curriculum. Atlanta News First, Chelsea Bonfour is at Gwinnett County Schools headquarters. The Gwinnett County School District is now wondering if they'll be able to teach some of those same lessons, a question that many school districts across the state are also asking. As a parent, it is extremely disheartening. That was Karen Molzak Watkins reaction to learning the state canceled full funding and approval of an AP African American Studies course. She's a Gwinnett County mom and school board member in a district that piloted the class last year. A course she says could be beneficial for all students. These are some lessons that need to be learned because I think it would help to bring us together instead of dividing us. This week, State Superintendent Richard Woods clarified his decision, saying the course violates Georgia's divisive concepts law designed to limit classroom discussions on race and discrimination. The law is intended to protect teachers when these issues come up, as they're going to do in schools. In a written statement, Woods apologized for his poor communication on the topic and said individual school districts can still teach the course but may risk legal challenges, something parents like Watkins find upsetting. We just have to figure out how to unify. It doesn't matter what color you are, religion you are, it does not matter. All of us need representation in our history because we made history. And then a memo sent by the Georgia House of Representatives today. They say because the AP course is not state approved, they will receive less money than they would for an approved course. Reporting from Gwinnett County, Chelsea Vine for Atlanta News First.